my second novel is, uh, which I just read from, and it went really well. Thank you. Um, it's about um, two worlds, one being the 1975 Times Square of New York, which no longer exists. There was a great amount of grit to it. It was kind of like a lawless place of danger and peep shows. And uh, the other side of it is the Hasidic world, which is also very New York. And uh, there's one family from New Jersey who is split. Uh, and as far as the protagonist, our 17-year-old, will he follow dad to work in the Times Square world, or will he be taken into a, a, a world of ritual and law and religion by his mother? And so those two worlds created this uh, ride, and um, the reviews have been great. I, I could tell you I think it's good, but uh, it's it's uh, unfolding as a, good, a really good book. So, so you're ready for the random questions? Yes. If your novel is set to a soundtrack, yes. what song would you include? Um, it has been. Oh! Um, not for sale, but um, a person at, at Algonquin said, send me some songs. So here we go. Easy. Bruce Springsteen was on there three times. Lou Reed. Yeah. Debbie Harry, also known as Blondie. The Ramones. Yeah. Um, Sly and the Family Stone. Donna Summer. That's all I have right now. Okay, here in New York. What's your favorite thing to do in New York? My favorite thing to do in New, into New York in New York is walk. As soon as I get a chance, I walk up Fifth Ave and I stop in uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral. And uh, like a good, like a good Jewish boy, and uh, I find that to be very relaxing. It's a very cool room, regardless of uh, what's going on outside. And um, I love to put on a, uh, I almost said Walkman. I put on an iPod. Discman. An iPod. My Walkman. I hook it to my belt. And uh, it, with cassette, my iPod, and I, and I just walk, I people watch, and I explore this amazing city, which has changed so much since the days I went to NYU, and even more so since the days of Peep Show, like 1970s. Okay, all set you're looking forward to that you've heard about. Is all summer and your Jonathan Tropper is a writer I like a lot. He and I are reading together in Brooklyn on Tuesday, and I love his work, and I uh, to get that. Uh, is it true that Jonathan Saffron Flower has a book? I don't know. Yeah, he does. He does. Oh, Jonathan Franzen has a new book. I really like the corrections, so I might dig that. Um, surprisingly enough, I read a lot of nonfiction uh, late, lately because um, I'm really enjoying learning. And Doris Kearns Goodwin is my new teacher. Oh, great. And I'm learning a lot. Words to live by. Uh, gumption, patience, uh, joy. Children. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.